Hi everybody, how are you all? Welcome back, welcome back to Project Camper. I am very, very happy. I'm in the van and a company reached out to me and before I go into all this, all this uh, like selling stuff and stuff like that, um, this is not about that. It's, I'll leave that to all the big channels and stuff like that. But, do you have a problem with batteries? I have a problem with batteries. I keep having to buy batteries. Now, I do like having a bit of a barbecue and a bit of an outside fire. So a mate of mine gave me a little dab radio. Pretty cool. Got a USB socket, blah, blah, blah. But unfortunately, it takes batteries. And they can be quite expensive. Especially when I've got TV remote control, my Amazon Fire Stick remote control, and my mouse. They all take batteries, different sizes. So the kind guys at Highquick, they sent me this. Pretty damn handy. It's a USB powered charger. Comes a little power pack like that, sort the batteries in, and it comes with triple A's and a pack of double A's and a little lead. So that's going to come in well handy. So I can say goodbye to buying and basically filling up landfill with batteries like this. So thank you to High Quick for sending me that. I shall put a card up there, a link in the description, and the link will be to my Amazon store and to their store. So I really, really appreciate that. So that's a little plug, and I can't wait to use them. Can't wait to charge them up. I think all it is is just like they come in a really handy little box as well. So let's just whack them in. So if you're still with me and you haven't got bored, because I'm not a very good like, selling sort of person. Chuck them in there. And I've already got my MacBook, because you can plug it into USB-C. Like so. So I'm going to leave them to charge up. They're going to come in super handy. Anyway. Outside, I've got more prezzies. Finally, 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 I have got uh, my sure cow chlorifier. Thanks to my mate Mark at work, give me some really good scissors. So, without further ado. Let's get this bad boy open. I can't wait. It's been almost two months. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's heavy. Good job I've got a sprinter, isn't it? Right. I'm going to put my goggles on for this. Because I want to see this beauty. So what we've got here. Right. Oh, Christ, they have taped it up very, very well. Oh. Right, what we've got here. Okay. This is the expansion tank. Accumulator, expansion tank, whatever. Let's have a look at this. Once again. Bloody hell, how would you get into this? Once again, I would like to thank all the new subscribers. All the well wishes. It doesn't go unnoticed. In fact, without you guys, you can guess. Right. Wow. So 
like Christmas, isn't it? Well, that's the two litre expansion vessel with brackets. So hopefully that can just be bolted up, teed in. I'm gonna have to read the instructions on it, really. But that is, that's, that's solid. Cool. Right. So yeah, I got this from, direct from the factory. Because, all these other companies, saying that they could get these, I just went straight to, straight to Shore Just, and you can see it was 640 pounds and 23p. So it came with 22 litre single coil chlorifier, a 12 and 240 volt immersion, which is, has been fitted. So they fitted that for me. And a two litre, Tank. So that was that. As I say, I've been trying to get my lead for about two months now, and everyone says that you've got them in stock. You ring them up, place an order. All right. Sorry, we haven't got them in stock. So I thought, right. Straight to the manufacturer. Spoke to them direct. They were super helpful. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. <clears throat> god, this is like racing the Titanic. <sighs> right. More straps to undo. Hope you appreciate that there's no heater on today. Don't think I'm gonna need it now. Summer's coming. Oh my lord, look at this. <laughs> Size of that! Oh my god. <laughs> Stuff. Shout out to the camera. <laughs> Thumbnail time. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> this is an impressive bit of kit. So, as I've said, I have opted for the optional. 12 volt slash 240 volt immersion heater that's fitted already there. God. And the associated cables. So that's probably 12 volt. Now 12 volt is a 300 watt, and the 240 is 700 watt. So that all comes out of there, and that'll get plumbed into the van. Now the reason why I wanted basically the twin coil immersion heater is because I have lithium, and by 11 o'clock, battery's fully charged. I mean. It's about, what's the time now? Just coming out to 20 past, 20 past eight. And the battery is, oh my God, I've got a cobweb. So 97, 99.7% on the battery. And as I say, I don't turn this van off. Everything's on. Shoreline Marine fridge. All the Wi-Fi stuff, Alexa, security camera, blah, blah, blah. I'm not quite sure how to help you, Dad. No, sorry. 
And also with all the lights, they come on via my apps. So the excess solar is controlled by the 712 BMV. I'll just show you. Because in here, oh, there, there's a 20 amp relay. And I rudimentally, rudimentally, quickly wired up a 200 amp relay that's connected to that to a self-made immersion heater out of a fire extinguisher and a heater mat from a 3D printer. And in principle, that worked really, really well. And even worked really, really well on the 200 amp hour or 220 amp hour AGM. But that had to be really, really good sunlight uh, because it flip flop out. And I was told that by a viewer, so he was correct but it didn't flip out too much. It's completely more stable now. In fact, there's, there's no flipping out. Uh, I think I'll set the voltage between 12.5 to flip out. Um, and then I think the maximum voltage was, you know, so it, as soon as it dropped, it would stop the heater. And that was all contrived by one of those eBay things. But I wanted something a bit more sophisticated. But in the same instance, a lot more simpler. Now this is where it's gonna come in a little beauty. <laughs> so the hot water it also has another chamber inside here or another pipe. And it comes directly from the engine. And it takes about 15 minutes for this to heat up from the engine. So I can drive to work, or we'll drive 15 minutes, which is normal. Um, and I'll have piping hot water, 22 liters of piping hot water. And the good thing about it, if you don't use all the 22 liters, you can thermostat it down. That's what this is. And it will give you more hot water. So probably about 30 liters, rough estimation. Because also you're not going to have this piping hot because you probably just scold yourself. But that's what this is for. It's a valve, a blow off valve. Um, and it is really, oh, I am so impressed with this. Unbelievable. I mean, these brackets. I mean, this is a beautiful bit of kit. It really is. So oh, that, is, that is the chlorophyre system. And I'm not 100% sure oh, it comes with anything else. Oh, it comes with some gumph. So, yeah, it's pretty self explanatory to be fair. There's nothing really difficult about it. Look at that. Piece of cake. So the immersion side, the 240 side, I also just plugged out uh, probably, probably to the inverter because there's two sockets on the back um, and that's 700 watt and the inverter is 3000 watts with a 6000 momentary. If it doesn't, then I shall put that onto the shore power socket into the RCD. But main heating will be coming from the engine and the 300 uh, watt immersion heater. So I suppose in the next episode, next video, I'll be faffing around underneath the bonnet to find where I can tee in. So anyway, I finally, finally got my short, my uh, 
not shoreline. I don't know. I keep. I've got my shoreline marine fridge freezer on, on my brain because I love it. I really do. Best thing since I spread that is. So anyway, shore cow. That's what I meant to say. Finally got my shore cow heater. Oh god, I'm so happy. So happy. Right. So anyway. Thank you once again to the guys at High Quick for sending me these rechargeable batteries. And cool, it charges pretty quick actually, look. I've only just, I've only just put it on since yakking to you guys. So we're nearly, well, three quarters full already, but obviously that's on USB-C. And then I can put them into the remote controls and not have to worry about buying batteries ever again. So I'm really, really grateful to them. And as I say, I'll put a link in the description for High Quick, and I shall also put a link in the description for SureCal. So anyway, bit of an update uh, on my personal life. I'm sorting it out. We're back together, and I have some exciting news hopefully in the near future i've got stuff in my head um it's not van related but it's still going to be exciting so i can't wait for that right <clears throat> so anyway thanks for watching if you're still here don't forget to click and subscribe thanks to everyone that's left lovely lovely comments uh massive hugs massive love to you and thanks for, the, for somebody saying that I was a little bit scruffy I don't own a shirt and tie I'm not Colin Furs I'm not that exciting I'm just me anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video